Hi Aquarius, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So thank you guys so much for your patience with me. I am finally back and we're gonna go ahead and do your love reading for the month of August and September of 2021. So this is gonna be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, you can also take a look at your North Node and your Jupiter as well. And we're going to take a look at what's going on between you and whoever you could be connecting to, whoever's on your mind right now, and take a look at that connection. If you don't have someone specific on your mind, you can definitely use this as what are you manifesting, your potential partner, your future partner. So just take it how it's going to fit with you, and uh, we'll go from there. So I hope you guys have been doing well. We're going to go ahead and just jump into it here. So Spirit, please use me as a direct and clear channel for the collective Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on within and around your love life here? Whoever's on your mind, whoever you're connecting to Aquarius, or any other messages that need to come through for Aquarius. So I do have an extended version. I used to be on Vimeo and then I went off Vimeo and now I decided to go back. <laughs> so it's the same energy we would do here, the same reading we would do on YouTube. But if you do want more in-depth reading or if you feel like you resonate with it, there is going to be an extended version. So you can find that down below in the description box to Vimeo and it will take you directly over there and we'll see what we're going to do over there, some additional messages and things like that. So let's go ahead and see Aquarius. What do we have going on for you? So whoever you could be connecting to Aquarius. So I did roll the dice here. I pulled a few charms too. So we have the planet of Pluto coming through. We have the number four. We also have the sign of Cancer. We also have another number four that came through here, a little charm. We have a number six. We have a snake charm snake and we have a bull so some of you could be dealing with the taurus as well so we have two fours coming through we also have pluto um the first thing i'm getting with this is that you're going through a major shift transformation with the pluto here especially on your home front or what feels secure for you um some of you could be going through changes when it comes to your family your past as well with the number six and cancer for me cancer is speaking about the home you know it could be somebody that is a cancer too but i just feel like a lot of you are moving towards again this pluto and the snake here too a lot of shedding of the old for you i feel like you're creating more stability here um, and it's going to be a very transformative time for you so we'll kind of tie that in as we go we also have this very grounding stone which i can't remember the name of but it's a very calming grounding stone so it's supposed to like a root chakra so I'm definitely getting that goes along with the number four too, creating stability, creating a home. You could also be creating more of a home environment uh, and finding somewhere or maybe someone that feels like home to you. So let's see Aquarius. So what is the crowning energy of your current connection, your relationship, Aquarius, or just your overall love life? What is the overall theme or the crowning energy for you right now, Aquarius? Yes, we have past life connection. That's what I was kind of feeling too. You have a strong karmic past life connection with this person. This is a strong psychic or spiritual connection. You may feel like you've known each other before. This connection is very destined, faded, and karmic in a way that is good for your soul. And we also have be here now. To attract more love, abundance, and joy into your life, allow yourself to be fully in the present moment find time for fun and playfulness. So some of you have somebody either entering your life who is going to be very transformative for your soul. Like I'm feeling it here with the Pluto and the snake here, the number six. So certainly number six can be about past life too. So maybe you know this person, maybe you don't. We're going to take a look at them, you know, see what's going on here. Just take it how it's going to fit here with you. But I definitely feel like a lot of you are attracting um, it feels more positive. It could be come with challenges. You know, past life connections can definitely come with challenging situations, but I definitely get the sense that you are attracting a past life connection. And at the very least, it's going to be very healing. It's going to be very therapeutic, maybe triggering. We'll see what comes up. But I also feel like it's going to show you, you know, more about yourself is what I'm getting. And it's going to allow you to create more stability. I feel like with this be here now and the cancer and the number four, 
and we have that Taurus energy too, which is very earthy, or not Taurus, but it could be, you know, of course, with the bull, it could also just be earthy energy, Taurus here. Uh, excuse me, I feel like this is going to be a time for you to create more stability. So tell me about the crowning energy for Aquarius of this current connection or situation for you. Let's see, we've all theme or crowning energy. We have deception in reverse. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. What is the energy between you and someone specific right now? What is the connection between the two of you? Okay, so we have religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And we also have healing family issues. So I'm getting a ton of different things here. For some of you, I feel like you're going to meet somebody who's going to be very triggering for you. Um, you could have differences in religion, culture. Maybe there's something different about the two of you. Um, I saw the make the effort card up there with the deception too. So I don't necessarily feel like this is a bad deception. It could be. We're going to take a look at it. But I do feel like there is somebody, somebody here who you both are healing family issues. You both could be healing a lot of past life energy as well. And I feel like there is a need to be more open, to be more vulnerable here. Somebody is hiding something. They're hiding their feelings or they're hiding something that they just have not revealed to you here at the moment. Let's take a look at what this is about. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. I really feel like you're going through a lot of changes though. So tell me about the crowning energy. Tell me about the overall theme here of this connection, Aquarius, or your love life. What's the theme here? The Eight of Wands reversed, and here we have the Chariot. Yeah, so I did see that Make the Effort card, too, and I just saw New Love here. So this is about movement forward. That's why I feel like, um, for some of you, the overall theme at the moment is that maybe you're not seeing any movement with somebody. Maybe you're not in communication with somebody. Maybe something is halted when it comes to growth here. And if that's the case, I strongly feel like this is something that maybe somebody, you know, the two of you could be clearing past life energies with each other, or there also could be a lot of karmic energy around your connection. So something wants to move forward with the chariot to be here too. Oftentimes the chariot can be about um, deciding our future, our destiny, you know, what direction do we need to take here? So this is more about getting into alignment with your true destiny. Like um, I'm getting some North Node energy here too. And I feel like that's why we have Pluto. There's a deep transformation going on, a lot of clearing of energies. I'm not sure yet if this is between you and someone specific or if this is just the overall theme of what you're moving through individually. Um, but I do feel like with this Eight of Wands reversed, there is a lack of current movement or growth here. And I feel like it's because somebody is not revealing their true colors or their true feelings, um, even though there is going to be with this chariot here a need to move past that. So let's see, what is the energy between you and someone specific right now, Aquarius? What's the connection between you both? Yeah, the two of wands and here we have the world. So this is definitely a crossroad. So you could have somebody right now that you are dealing with in which maybe one or both of you have not made a move uh, forward or there's just a crossroads here with the two of wands. And if that's the case, it has something to do with your upbringing, your family, your paths, your differences, um, something of the sort here. But there's definitely with the eight of wands, the chariot, the two of wands, this is about movement and growth and expansion with the universe here, the world. I'm getting something very, very karmic, but it doesn't have to be a bad karmic. There's something very faded or karmic here. Let's see. Let's look at this person. Let's look at this person you're dealing with. Yeah, the Hierophant. Actually, I'm going to get one of these here. What is the energy between you and this person that you are connecting to? Aquarius. What is the energy between you and this person on your mind, Aquarius? What's the current connection energy? energy between you and this person we have marriage you will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married there's much to celebrate 
We do have manic love though at the bottom. This will be a deep and intense love that could trigger possessive behavior and make you act out of character. Tell me one more card for the energy between you and this person on your mind, Aquarius. We have on again, off again. Someone's entering your life who may reappear and disappear. Don't get trapped in the cycle. We also have unspoken love. Yeah, there's something here that I feel maybe this is an unspoken connection. You have not revealed to each other how you feel. Um, marriage could be involved here. Let's get more details because I do feel like there is something about tradition involved here. There could be something about marriage involved. Um, we have the home cancer energy. We also have this number six. Lots of, again, karmic energy. It could be somebody you already know for some of you with on again, off again. Maybe this person keeps coming in and out of your life here. And that could be another reason to why there's not really a true revealing of one's feelings with this with this deception card. Um, somebody's not, yeah, see the unspoken love. Or maybe it's both of you, you know, or maybe it's you. But I feel like there may be some factors here that are contributing to it. Because like I said, it could be culture, religion, it could be differences. There could be certain reasons to why you can't be together. It could be marriages involved here. But I do think that there is a need to, um, well, let's look. Let's look at this person you're connecting to. Okay, let's see. So who is this person that you are, yeah, look at that, deja vu. So another card about past life karmic lesson. So you're definitely moving through a very karmic connection with somebody who either is new or somebody that you've known for a while. Uh, and this is, this is something that I feel, you know, is coming through as maybe a very heavy, intense energy for you. So who is this person on your mind, Aquarius? Who is this person on your mind? We have roaming wild, free spirited risks and possibilities. Who is this person on your mind? We do have elusive and tangible, dishonest and tricky. Okay, so I do feel like this person could be a little bit tricky. Um, we have purifying here, purge, healing, clean energy. We do have shallow coming through. So the fact that we have that deception card too. Um, the, yeah, this definitely could be somebody who's not really being completely authentic with you. We'll get more details and see if it's really coming from a, from a, you know, a malicious place or if it's just something that this person could be uh, roaming wild right now. They're very on and off with you or they're going to be very on and off with you. Um, they're, they're, you know, they're exploring their possibilities. They're exploring their life here. And because of that, they are choosing to be in the shadows or they're choosing to be very on and off with you two of wands um maybe you're both not telling each other how you feel though and that could be an issue that could be a problem it could be a secret thing too but i definitely see with that eight of wands reverse too there's a lack of forward direction here and i feel like there's a need to get back on direction somebody is in a spider web here it's like maybe the two of you are entangled in a spider web or there are spider webs around the connection, if that makes any sense. And I feel like with this six here and the Pluto, something very deeply transformative is occurring here. Um, and so there's a need to get into the de like the destined path with a chariot here, which may be moving on from each other, or maybe that this is needing to come together. Because, uh, yeah, it's like it's time to outgrow. Yeah, see, we have the snake here, so shedding the skin. So tell me more about this person on your mind, Aquarius. Tell me about this person on your mind, Aquarius. Three of Swords. Three of Pentacles reverse. So they definitely are coming through as somebody who... I'm going to look at your energy over here too. Let's put this here. Let's put this actually down here. So this person with the Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles reverse, either they are currently feeling hurt. Um, I do think there could be multiple people involved here. It might have something to do, again, with religious or spiritual upbringing. It could be marriages. It could be other family is involved here. Something about being able to be an equal with each other. Something about being able to work together to build something. Maybe there's interferences here. Let's see. How about you, the viewer? How are you showing up in this connection? How about you, Aquarius, the viewer? How are you showing up in this connection? Three of Wands reverse, so another three. So you are also showing as a three. So there's two threes here. 
Uh, and we also have the Three of Wands reverse for you. So maybe you also feel like you're not seeing any growth here. There's no expansion. There's no growth. This could be somebody at a, at a distance from you. You could. There's a, we have three travel cards actually coming through. So this could be somebody who you live at a distance, or you're going to meet each other, and you're going to be at a distance from each other. How are you? Or what are? How are you showing up, Aquarius, the viewer in this connection? We have longing, aching, pining, and past love. So you could be missing this person. These could be interchangeable, these energies, so keep that in mind. Um, you could be missing this person. You could be wanting to hear from this person, but they're, you know, obviously maybe neither person is doing anything right now with them coming through as the Three of Swords. I feel like maybe you're both... We'll see what else. How are you showing up, Aquarius, in this connection? Yeah, there's definitely a spiritual connection here. So I feel like for most of you, this is somebody who either you're at a physical distance with, you're at an emotional distance with, you're not speaking, you're both are not telling each other how you feel. Other factors could be involved. They could be in and out of your life. This could be somebody who has um, unfinished business with other situations maybe, especially involving family. They are coming through as not laying it all out in the line with you. They're not being honest maybe. I'm not sure yet if this is a deceptive or if this is just them not being open with you. This is a faded karmic past life type of tie here that I feel you have with this person. For some, it could be brand new. For others of you, it's somebody that you've already known for a while. Um, tell me more about this person. How are they feeling about you? This person on your mind, Aquarius. How are they feeling about you? Love yourself first in reverse. And we have um, let your friends help you in reverse. Yeah, so this person is being interfered by other opinions of other people is what I'm hearing. Um, I do feel like with love yourself first, they're not going, they're, this person may not be leading with their heart at the moment. Uh, and I feel like it's because of these maybe factors involved. This person could be, uh, again, that spider web's coming through. Maybe they have differences. Um, sorry, my battery light went on here. Um, Maybe they're involved with kind of like the wrong crowd or the wrong people or there's something here. Let's get a little bit more about how they feel about you. What is this person's feelings and intentions towards you, Aquarius, the person on your mind? This person's feelings and intentions towards you. Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is definitely somebody who, you know, to be honest with you, they're kind of coming through as a little bit of a... Um, could be a player energy it could be somebody who uh it's a really weird energy excuse me it's a weird energy because i feel like like yes they're not being honest page of swords reverse knight of cups reverse i would be careful if you're dealing with this person because of the fact that they're not going to be up front with you um yeah and I feel like it's because they may not have, like, their self-respect is lacking at the moment. And you could actually feel this connection with them on a deep level. Um, and I feel like you are, maybe could stop waiting for this person with the Three of Wands and the spiritual connection, though. It's like maybe you're at different planes, you're at different levels right now of your awareness, of your um, spiritual journey. Because even though they have emotions, they're not in control right now of their emotions. And I feel like this is why they're not being honest with you. Part of it is that they're just holding back, though, because of this unspoken. But I mean, if they can't communicate honestly with you, then it could be a level of immaturity involved here, too. So even if they have feelings for you, um, I still feel like there is a very, very suppressed energy to where the, there's not enough out in the open communication here. Let's see what else about their feelings. This person on your mind, Aquarius, what are their feelings and intentions towards you? We have I miss you. We also have personal. This is not about you. I'm working through a personal issue. Yeah, so love yourself first in reverse. So this person and you, especially if you already have a history with them or if you know this person, you both are really missing each other right now. You're both reflecting that. Um, and it's like you're waiting for them. Maybe they're waiting for you, especially if you're in no contact. And the thing is with the Eight of Wands reverse and the Chariot is that this is something that I feel 
uh, is a karmic lesson again i'm getting that again but i feel like they, they do miss you but they're not being they're not expressing it for whatever reason how does this person feel about you we have freedom i can't be tied down we have ghosts so definitely you know if this is somebody you resonate with this person is not going to be uh, available for a commitment if that's what you're looking for i don't know why we have marriage here this could be somebody with this religious factors maybe there's marriage involved or there's something about again the, the the differences in marriage or something about what you're looking for with each other they're definitely wearing a heavy mask here of this person so yeah if this is somebody you identify with they're not going to be uh vulnerable with you right now they're not going to be totally honest with you they have i mean we have roaming wild and we have freedom so they're definitely not going to be completely um available is what i'm feeling here Yeah, I'm just seeing this again, manic love. So this could be somebody who really triggers you. Again, I'm getting that like, past life stuff again, like something that you feel at a soul level. Um, I'm getting somebody could be very materialistic too. Somebody could be very focused on the things that are shallow or the things that are really not meaningful. Um, and I feel like this is very triggering for you because you could feel this at a more soul level and they're feeling it at a more materialistic level or I should say a more superficial level. And that's why you, you kind of met each other too. So what does this person want with you? See, look at that mirror effect. You'll share unwanted habits or traits with a new love interest, likely reflecting something within yourself. Um, Yeah, there's definitely a mirroring going on. Let's look at the outcome here. Because I don't know if this person's going to put you on a pedestal. I think this might be, or maybe they did, and then they kind of like take it back or something. What is the outcome between you and this person, Aquarius? Delays and blocks. Children could be involved for some of you, or this could be somebody who has a lot of child uh, inner child healing to do, or they could be childish. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a delay here. I want to focus on what's coming in for you, and we'll look more a little bit at this person, the extended their actions and stuff. But because um, I don't feel like the, I feel like spirit wants to focus on something else here. Let's look at what's coming in for you next, Aquarius, because there's de definitely going to be delays here with this person. They're not they're not being honest here. So what's coming in for you, the viewer, Aquarius, in your love life? Where are you heading? We have chemistry. This is a mutual spark and attraction with another. There's a strong magnetic pull with this person. There's a lot of passion and desire. This may pertain to an awakening or increase of creative energy in your life. Self-love. Let's confirm that. What is coming in for you, Aquarius, the viewer? What's next for you? What do you need to know about your journey? Free yourself in reverse. And we have the healing family issues again. So for some, this could be the same person that you have a chemistry, a chemistry with. You have a strong pull with each other, especially if they're fairly new in your life. Uh, then I feel like you both are very drawn to each other, but this could at some point, you know, maybe they're going to be more available to you. They're going to be more open here for you. But at the moment that I'm reading this, I feel like um, this is going to be a, a, an intense love, but it's going to trigger a mirror effect within you both. And until you can clear that, it might continue to be on and off. Um, so this, the, the main factor is differences in values, differences in culture, differences in religion, um, or differences in what you're looking for, things like that with the marriage card coming through. Um, I feel like yeah, getting to know each other reversed and healing family issues. I feel like this is fairly new for a lot of you. If it's not, then it might just be someone that you, you know, you're not currently in contact with or you haven't really transcended that connection. There's something about a lot of secrets here that are, have, have not been revealed. They don't all have to be bad secrets I'm getting, but it could be things that just have not been out in the open, you know, the unspoken love. So you are going through a process in which you are taking back control of your life here. But you do have a strong pull towards somebody, and it could be this person.
What's next for you, Aquarius, the viewer in your love life? Yeah, Four of Pentacles, the Tower Reverse. So for some of you, you could be holding on to, it could go a couple of ways here. You could be holding on to somebody else, like a past person. This could be a new person, or these roles can be interchangeable. Somebody could be holding on to their past um, and not really totally open to, because I do feel like with this spiritual connection, I feel like this is about bringing into your life a more spiritual connection or something that's going to be, you know, more for you. But I feel like with the Four of Pentacles and the Tower Reversed, there is a need here to really let go. You know, with this, somebody has, she has her hands on her throat here too. And with this Free Yourself from the Tower, I feel like there's a need to, to sh shake something up here. There, um, I feel like it's stifled. What's coming in next for you, Aquarius, the viewer? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, look at these very similar looking um, beautiful images here with the portal moving forward. This is going to be a lot of movement for you, growth for you. We do have that number four coming through. We have the snake. We have Pluto that came through. Um, so I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy expansion, you're going to move forward the chariot here too something faded is happening for you something faded is coming in for you i don't know let's see what's coming in for you then aquarius it is safe for you to love what i'm getting primarily you deserve love and it is safe for you to love whether this is with this person or someone new either way and you both could definitely be mirroring this within each other um, that could be why you met, or that could be why you're in each other's lives. But I feel like there is a huge delay in manifesting new love or to come together because there's a feeling of not being safe or open to love. Somebody's throat chakra is closed here. Uh, and also just the expression of emotions is closed here. Maybe you have a very hard time expressing how you feel. It feels very, very frustrating with the Three of Wands and the Four of Pentacles here. It feels like something is very stuck. Um, and I and for some of you, this is somebody who you both feel this with each other. You both want to explore this, but you're reflecting it. You know, you're mirroring each other. So if, if you both mirror each other and you can't get past that, you're going to keep repeating the same cycle. Um, Or <laughs> this is the past person that you need to let go of and you have somebody new coming into reality that you're going to have a very strong chemistry with, a passion, a pull with here, but you're still looking at the opposite. You're still looking in the past, I feel, um, for some of you here. And what's happening though, the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower is that it's actually, it's, it's propelling you forward. It's time to start following your destiny because you're going to be given opportunities coming in here shortly, maybe even travel for some of you to um, put yourself back out there or to really get into back into alignment with where you need to be uh, is what I'm getting here. Oh, this card flew on the ground. Let me grab it. Wow, so Spirit really wants to bring this up again. You, you, something very much about past life here. Karmic lessons are a heavy emphasis on your life. So what's the outcome? Masculine energy influences. Yeah, there's other people clouding this, okay? If this is someone that you already know and someone that you're connecting to, um, they are being clouded by these karmic energies or you both are, are, you know, falling into that spider web again is what I'm getting. And the thing is, is I don't see an immediate fix with that, with this delays and change, you know, delays. It's something that has to happen organically or it has to happen the way it should because somebody is in a fantasy. They're, they're really in a stuck energy. I feel, um, but to be honest, I don't know if anything new, what's, what new is coming in for you, the viewer? Okay, we do have hoping, waiting, expecting, manifesting. Are you manifesting something new? Ten of cups reversed and judgment.
So what's the advice for you? Because I do feel like Judgment Day is coming here. What's the advice for you, Aquarius? We have, I am safe. Yeah, we already have that. I am safe to love or something. Or it is safe to love in reverse. It's coming in for you, Aquarius, the viewer. I'm spiritually protected. Yeah, so a lot of you, I do think you need to protect your energy. I mean, you are being protected. You're being assisted here. Um, but what's, what's really around your energy right now is that you are coming into judgment. Pluto, we have the Pluto planet too, I think. Um... You're going to be going through a major change here when it comes to with the Ten of Cups reversed. I'm getting it's going to be more about putting you into a place where you feel safe to love. And it's going to depend on if it's this person or not. Because I don't feel like it's going to be... It's going to be more of you are being guided. The chariot here. Uh, I'm hearing that with this chariot, you're almost being guided by spirit. Like spirit is taking the reins of this chariot, you know. And you're following your destined path here. If this person is meant to be a part of your reality, then they will, you know, be able to express more to you. But right now they're coming through as somebody very fickle, somebody very, um, I don't know if it's totally deceptive necessarily, but they're coming through as somebody very unreliable. And I think this is going to be you calling judgment here moving forward and being aware that these karmic lessons are going to continue until you can break free from them. And you are being protected by certain things, divine protection, spiritual um, rejection is divine protection here. So you have to feel safe to go through this portal. I feel like a lot of you are going to start working on something new with the eights coming through, eight of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, the judgment, the chariot, and you're going to be placed exactly where you need to be. Okay. So I'm going to take this to the extended. You can find the link down below. We'll take a look more. I'm going to keep these like this and we're going to just build on this for another 20 minutes or so and take a look at this person and what's going on with them. How are they feeling? The new coming in for you and go from there. So I really hope this could help you. Aquarius, thank you so much for um, tuning in. Have a great rest of the day and much love.